now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. Hey, Alana, we're sure happy to be talking about rain on yeah. this June day. And I cannot tell you how happy I am that the wind has subsided. It that was, was crazy the, over the weekend. The wind is no one's friend. I tell you that frequently, but now you believe me. Yeah, it was tough because with those winds and our drought conditions, we get a lot of dust and it was just relentless. Today's a bit of a different story since we started off the day with thunderstorms and some wet weather. This time lapse video showing those storms earlier this morning coming through, dropping measurable moisture. We were just under two tenths of an inch for Salt Lake International Airport, which we love. We'll take any bit of wet weather we can get. The storms just sweeping through the valley. It was quite the morning. Thunder and lightning in Davis County, and then up there in Cache Valley, we were dealing with the rain. Ogden saw some storms, backside of the Wasatch. You know, today's the last day of spring, so we're ending it cool and calm, and we're going to wrap things up and kick off that season. We heat back up fairly quickly, and the storms do return, and that brings that flash flood potential back. We did see some flash flooding on the eastern, south central portion of the state. It does return. I'll show you exactly when. First day of summer is tomorrow. It's the solstice. Are you ready? We kick off the summer season at 3.13 in the morning. I hope you'll be sleeping. It's the longest day of the year. We get all that daylight. Sunsets at 9.03. And we're going to see temperatures rebounding back to average with sunny skies. Scunny out there right now as we take that live look at Linden, Utah Lake. A little bit of a breeze. Some clouds over the lake mountains. People on the beach. Pretty shot there. Temperatures, though, sitting in the 60s. Yeah. Below average. Satellite radar kind of shows us those quiet conditions with area of low pressure pushing out of the area. Our westerly flow dragging some clouds into Elko and Ely, but calm overall. Last couple of hours up there near Cache Valley, maybe a stray shower. And that's going to taper off as we head into tonight. Things quieting down. We were cooler today. We'll stay cool for the overnight. Tomorrow, though, the sunshine comes in, temperatures rebound, quiet conditions throughout the state. It's going to be a really beautiful day. But then things change. Yeah, as we head into Wednesday, that southerly flow starts to bring in the chance of thunderstorms for the southern half of the state. That's when we see that flash flood potential, and we know those storms can pack a punch. Big picture shows you how that area of low pressure moves out of the way. And we get two sources of moisture. One from the Gulf, as well as one from the Gulf of California. And this area of low pressure moves to our southwest. It's got a counterclockwise flow, so we drag that moisture into the state. The area of high pressure to our east does the same thing. Warmer temperatures in the north, so we're bringing in that moisture, and that brings potential for thunderstorms. We heat things up. Temperatures will warm back up. So long story short, we will see the threat of storms on Wednesday on the eastern side of the state. Flash flood potential returns with the possibility in all of our favorite locations, including our national parks. The Swell, Bryce Canyon, Glen Canyon, so down near Lake Powell, got to be extremely careful if you're going to be recreating. We know Wednesday we start to get pretty active. Okay, temperatures tomorrow will be beautiful, 80s along the Wasatch Front. 86 is actually the average high in Salt Lake, so we hit that. 80s and 90s on the eastern side of the state, the basin. Castle Country looks pretty. 80s for the I-15 corridor. Upper 90s in St. George, it's actually where they should be this time of year. As we look at the next seven, we increase cloud cover by the middle of the week. Best chance for thunderstorm activity, more so south central and southeastern Utah. Can't rule it out in St. George. Triple digits return by the end of the week. Temperatures in the low one hundreds to follow for the weekend. As we look at the Wasatch Front, slight chance of an isolated storm Friday and Saturday. Temperatures plateau in the 90s, slightly above the norm. Summer! Tomorrow! We've had an appetizer, and I don't know if I'm ready, but we're going for it. Glenn, Emily, over to you.